hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is sam p here i am again and today we're going to talk about ready to love season six episode one this time around it's going to be in potomac i did not review the last season because as you know i'm new to this youtube thing but i'm excited to be with you all so this is going to be the second show that i'm going to be reviewing outside of uh, lady Bullist atlanta and i'm so excited i've been watching ready to love season five i thought it was really nice was very excited and as soon as i knew that this season was going to come a new season was coming the following week i was like girl i need to review this so here i am and i'm going to start so tommy it starts with tommy being back on the boat in Potomac and he's letting us know the last season in DC is done and he's now on the other side and this time around he's being straight to the point it's going to be 14 single seven men seven women which is way less than usual I think usually it starts with around 20 people around 10 women 10 men and one person is eliminated the first time but this time around, he's like, no, we're going to focus over quantity. It's going to be, it's going to, no, not quantity. It's go we're going to focus on quality over quantity because last season, if you've been watching, I think a lot of singles were having difficulties choosing who they really wanted. And that put them in a situation where they just, you know, were still hesitating between two people even towards the end when they should know, they should have a better idea who they really want to move forward with. So I think this time around, Tommy is like, no, you're going to have to be, be able to make a decision earlier as far as who you want to focus on. And the best way for that is probably to have less people. So yeah, Tommy was done. Tommy was done with the last season. A part of me was like, he didn't even come to the... Rainier, what did he really have COVID? I'm not sure, but I feel like he was done. And, ob and obviously, he was already, he's been, you know, filming season six for Potomac. Potomac. So I think he's been over the DC, he's been over them. So then, yeah, so it starts with the first man that comes. I think his name is Paul. And he starts straight out the bat talking about what he's looking for is a sexual woman that has sexual energy, someone that he can come back home to, that has a home cooked meal, and they can do the do. And I was like, oh wow, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's starting, it's starting hot. It's starting like, yeah, yeah, we, 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 we know what we want. And I'm not sure if he wants a wife, but yeah. And he's like, yeah, but he also wants someone that has substance. I'm not sure what he meant about substance, like, because he didn't detail on it, but it was, being very clear that he needs to be with a sexual woman i'm like okay okay i guess it's good to know what you want right Oda, she comes and she meets with him and he's giving her compliments and they're vibing they're talking things seems to be nice and he's asking questions right off the bat and i mean she's answering you know things are good then there's one introduced to tiffany tiffany says that she likes to touch and to be touched I'm like, yeah, this, this season, they're pretty physical. They, they're on the physical part. They're telling you right off the bat they're about the sexual attraction and the sexual energy and being touched. And I'm like, okay, okay. I mean, I see how, you know, it's the first episode, so we're just filling out people. Right? We have Kina coming, and she said that she wants a man that is willing to lead, but she's going to be in the back. I'm not really sure what she meant by that. I think... Well, she meant to provide it. I'm not really sure. Please let me know uh, for those of you that watch the show in the comments. I'm very interested to know what you're thinking. We have Demetrius coming. Demetrius is a, you know, dark skin and some chocolate type of guy, really well dressed in his suit. And when he comes, he makes an impression on the ladies. All the ladies are like, oh yeah, Demetrius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're liking Demetrius. A lot of the ladies are, are expressing their delight over him. And we see him right away takes, taking Precious on the side. And Precious tells him, oh, you're beautiful. And, you know, they're vibing. And, I mean, yeah. It's very interesting on those shows um, how sometimes I feel like some of the women 
it's not always the case but some, some women sometimes have like a very direct it's very interesting to see that because the way i grew up it's all we were always i was always told that you know the lady has to make the has to be let the man kind of like show his interest so it's very refreshing to see women being outgoing and saying what they mean and meaning what they say and she feels like he's handsome she feels like letting him know and it was very well appreciated we have sabrina 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 coming up first right off the bat and saying okay i have a i have a list here i have a list and this is what i want i can appreciate that honestly what i do like especially when you're dating in your 30s i feel like you should already know the type of person that you think you would be a good fit with because you've dated you have experience I feel like when you enter your 30, you should know a little bit more about yourself. You should know the type of person that you can vibe with. So I think it's very important to have a, a list and to know what you want. Um, you do also want to make sure that in some of those things that you're asking, that you can also, that you also have that, right? Like I'm not going to go ahead and ask for a guy that's, you know, super muscular or super rich or super this and I don't have anything to bring to the table. I also want to be attractive. I want to show that I take care of myself and I want to be able to be successful, you know, because and that's the thing. I feel like sometimes people ask for things that they cannot necessarily deliver themselves. And I'm like, what tells you that this guy that's six feet three and works out every day and takes care of himself wants to be with a couch potato yeah you're pretty you're naturally pretty but you're not doing certain of those things you know so i do feel that sometimes whenever we have a list of things that we're asking for our partner to have that we also can deliver on some of those you know because what's the point on asking people to do things that you cannot deliver yourself right but the fact that she had a list i like that is in there Tommy comes and everybody is mingling and talking to each other and coming and Tommy is telling them that this time around this is everything so everybody is there do not look for other more for more people to come it's not going to be 20 individual like it's been in the previous season this season we're going to focus on quantity over quality so it is what it is so I invite you all to focus and to get to know the other uh, people that are that are around and that's it and he's also letting them know that two people are going to be eliminate, eliminated this time around oh yeah Tommy is not playing games this time he's letting you know like he's not playing you're gonna learn today reading to do what needs to be done to meet the person for you you're going to be eliminated so yeah I mean yeah I kind of like that you know I kind of like that because you do not want people to kind of like get confused you know like how long are you going to be confused how long are you going to be hesitating between two three ladies or two three men so i kind of understand where it's coming from this is sabrina they get to meet each other to talk with each other they're opening up to each other dimitris is letting her know that he's been married in the past and that it did not work it has been he was married for three years and there's been a lot of uh, insecurity from him and also he was not faithful and um yeah they opened up to each other she also sabrina also explained that she's been married in the past and that she um her and her husband divorced because at the time when they married they were very young and she didn't know what she truly wanted so that's why it did not work and I can I can understand that. So that's the thing when you get married in your 20s, especially in your early 20s, you don't know yourself as much. I think that whenever you get into your 30s, that's when you really have lived, you have you've had more experiences and you're probably more settled. So you have really time to think about what you want. And that's one of the disadvantages, I think, sometimes to marry in your 20s. I married in my 20s, but it was in my late 20s. And by the time I married, I already was really confident on the things that I wanted out of a man. But I do, even at that point, I'm not the same person that I am today that I'm in my 30s. So I can definitely understand 
where Sabrina was coming from and also where Dimitris was coming from and the fact that he was able to accept that he is probably the main reason why things didn't work out with his wife. Amanda's able to say that, I think it's already kind of like good because it shows that there's maturity, he's not trying to blame someone else and I like that. Chris that's talking to Tori and that conversation, I thought the conversation was so nice. Like it started very casual. I think they were both drinking a Romeo and Juliet drinks. I'm not familiar with it because I'm not a big drinker. And then, you know, the transition where Tori was like, well, the story wasn't really a cool ending. And yeah, Patrice was like, yeah. So from there, they started talking about families and their families. And I really like the transition of things. It seems so natural. In contrary to another discussion that I've seen between Fernando and another lady was where I felt like it was almost like he was asking her question back to what back. It felt like an interview, but we're going to get back to that later. Um, so yeah, so Tori and Precious, they're vibing, you know, they're opening up and Tori is letting her know that his mother was in the army and he didn't get a lot of affection from her and that might have affected the way he views relationship and precious also is telling him that she's been estranged from her mother that she was raised from her by her uh, aunt i believe and that being raised by her aunt she's learned a lot and that she's also learned that the way to have a family is not always the you know, a dad, a mom, and children. And I mean, I just really liked the way their conversation their conversation went. It was very smooth. Uh, they seemed like they get along really well. And uh, I really like Precious. I really like her vibe. I really like the way she is so far. She's the one, as far as like, I've seen in the candidate that seemed, as far as the woman, like, I, I just really like the way she expresses herself. She's really open. And I think it's nice. Point, we have uh, Fernando talking to the lady, the single lady. And yeah, he's like in, almost like he's interviewing her, asking about kids, asking if she wants kids. I'm like, man, like if I was in a situation like that where people are asking me all those questions, especially about the kids things, I'm not sure how I would feel. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> and I know we're in the process and the goal is to get each other quicker than it would be in the usual way but i feel like it was almost like he was asking her a bunch of questions like in an interview and i didn't necessarily feel like he was sharing about himself um and i'm talking about fernando and yeah then at some point tommy is coming by and he is um asking the ladies what they're thinking about the gentleman and the ladies are telling him like they're not really big fan of Paul or Pio because he already he always delivers. <laughs> and um, they're also saying that Fernando, they're not really able to, you know, vibe with him as much as they've been able to vibe with the other gentlemen. Um, and then from there, they went ahead and decided to eliminate um, Mr. Fernando. After that, they went back again and more of the um, thing, the people, the individuals started talking to each other and vibing with each other. We have Joy that is talking with Clifton and she's saying how she really likes him. They seem to be like joking with, uh, with each other, getting very familiar with each other pretty fast. And yeah, I mean... Clifton, I think he's handsome. I like his voice and he has that he has that Barry White singer voice that sound really good to the ears. And um Joy is she's feeling him. She's feeling him and I think he's feeling her too. So it sounds good. So we see more of the singles getting to know each other. We have Paul talking to Sabrina. Paul is talking about his name is P.O. P dot O because he's the post office and he always delivers. I'm like, Paul, you're 48 years old. Like, what, what, what are you always delivering? I mean, child, I don't know about Paul, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's a case, this one. 
And yeah, most of the single, they continue to talk to each other. Ta Dakota, that's talking to Clifton, I believe. And then we have Kina. Kina is like all over the place, talking to everybody, interve intervening between people when people are having conversations. She just comes in the middle and started talking to them and then she's I, she's like man my feet were hurting and i was just trying to sit down i mean that was hilarious she seemed like pretty straight to the and uh we also saw her talking to wiley and she's like straight away straight away oh yeah yeah he's too young for me and stuff like she was really blunt and uh, i mean it was i mean i thought she was hilarious um but yeah so at the end of that tony came and it was time to eliminate the lady and Kina was eliminated. So yeah, I mean, the show is definitely starting with a bang. Uh, we see in the teasers, this connection are going to be made and singles are going to talk to each other. So it seems like it's going to be good. I'm excited about the new season. It's also going to be shorter than the previous season. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to be review that, going to be reviewing that. So I invite you all to come and discuss with me in the comments. I know I'm new to this thing, but I'm excited and I want to, you know, get to know you all and, you know, build a, a community. So yeah, just come and comment in the comments. Let me know what you think. Who do you think is going to go with who? Because it seems like some of the guys are interested in several ladies and but same thing from some of the other ladies so yeah i'm excited to see what you think you know and um yeah i i really would like for you all to subscribe and because i'm going to be posting a little bit more especially with this show and we have lazy woolies atlanta i'm planning to, i'm planning to be on this youtube channel this youtube channel and be consistent guys so thank you all for your support and i'll see you all later Bye.